Okay class, the second review is about the formation of differential equation. So how do we get a differential equation? So if we have an ordinary equation, and from this ordinary equation, how do we get a differential equation? So there are usually two steps. The first step, we need to differentiate the ordinary equation. And the second step, after differentiating the ordinary equation, we should eliminate the arbitrary constraint. Now, if uh, for the first step, if we are to differentiate the ordinary equation, the question arises whether we have to differentiate once or twice or three times or four times. So the number of differentiation it depends on the number of arbitrary constant. So if we have two arbitrary constant, so we have to differentiate two times. If we have only one arbitrary constant, we will be differentiating only once. So let's take three examples. This is the first example. The first example is y is equal to ax plus a square. So let this be the first example. And the second example we have y square is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. And the third one we have e power x x e of x and x square e of x now if we look at the first equation in this equation we have only one arbitrary constant that is a so here a is the arbitrary constant so the arbitrary constant is only one so we will be differentiating this equation only once in the second example we have a b and c so we have three arbitrary constant so we will be differentiating this equation three times and in this case we have one two and three we have three independent equation so even in this case we will be having three arbitrary constant so we will be differentiating this equation three times so let's try to solve equation one two and three now for equation one y is equal to ax plus a square let it be equation one now we will differentiate this equation with respect to x so if we differentiate we will get dy by dx and here we will get here a since a square is a constant it will be zero so we are getting dy by dx now we have already differentiated we have already differentiated the uh, ordinary equation and now the second step is to eliminate the arbitrary constant so how do we eliminate the arbitrary constant so in this equation we have the arbitrary constant a so we need to remove this a from this equation so it's very simple since we already know that a is nothing but a derivative dy by dx so in the given equation we just need to put a value of a so we will get here y is equal to x dy by dx plus dy by dx whole square so this is the required differential equation of this given ordinary equation. So we can see that this equation is in the form of derivative. We have dy by dx. Even here we have the derivative dy by dx. Now, we have already learned about the order and degree. So what is the order of this equation? And what is the degree of this differential equation? Now we know that in this differential equation we have two derivatives, and that is dy by dx, and here also dy by dx. So the order of this derivative is one, and the order of this derivative is also one. So in this case, the order of this equation is one. And what about the degree? Then, since we are having two derivatives which is of the same order. We need to see the greatest power. So here the power is 1, here the power is 2. So in this case, the degree is 2. So for the first ordinary equation, this is the required differential equation. And of this differential equation, we have the order 1 and degree 2. All right. Then let's, let's try to solve equa uh, question number 2. Example 2. So for example 2, we have y square is equal to ax square plus px plus c and as i've told you since we are having 
three arbitrary constraints A, B, and C, we will be differentiating three times. Now, if we differentiate once, we will get here 2y and dy by dx. And if I differentiate this one, we will get here 2a of x plus b. So we have already differentiated once. So let us try to differentiate for the second time. If we differentiate this one, 2 is a constant. If I keep y as it is, and if I differentiate dy by dx, I will get d square y by dx square plus 2. If I differentiate y, I will get dy by dx. Here, dy by dx is equal to 2a of x plus, sorry. If I differentiate this one, I will get here 2a. Again. Or, in other words, I can write this one further simplify as this one plus here. I will write here dy by dx whole square is equal to 2a. So, we have already differentiated two times. Well, we need to differentiate three times so let us differentiate for a third time so if i differentiate this term i will get here 2y it will be d cube y of dx cube plus if i d 2y my dx and d square y my dx square so this two term i'm getting from here and again from this term I will get here 4 dy by dx and if I differentiate dy by dx I will get here 2 square y by dx square is equal to if I differentiate 2a I will get here 0. Now what we can see is that in all the three terms we have 2 comma so I can take it out 2 comma so this is 2 I'm taking out and this will become 2 so this 2 will go here so it will be still zero so i can write here y t cube y and dx cube plus t y dx t square y by dx square plus 2 t y by dx and t square y by dx square is equal to zero so this is a required differential equation for the ordinary equation this one and now we can see from this equation that uh, here we are having one, two, three, four, five derivative, and this is one derivative where the order is three. This is another derivative where the order is one. Again, this is another derivative where the order is two, another derivative where the order is one, and here another derivative the order is two. So we know that the order of this differential equation is three since 3 is greater so the order is 3 and the degree of this differential equation is we need to check the power of the highest derivative so the high the, the power of the highest derivative is 1 so in this case the degree is 1 so what we can learn from here is that in the first example since we were having only one arbitrary constant then uh, so we are getting the order 1 so here we are having three arbitrary constants and we are getting order three. So in this case, we can learn that the number of arbitrary constants is always equal to the order of the differential equation. So if we are having three arbitrary constants, we will get that the order of the differential equation will be three. And if the arbitrary constant is two, then the order of the differential equation will be two. Now let us try to solve the third example so the third example is given by e of x x e of x and x square e of x now this is the third example solution so we are having three independent equations so the first equation is y1 is equal let's say a constant c1 e of x we have the another function equation y2 is equal to c2 x e of x and we have y3 is equal to c3 x square e of x so we are having three independent equation y1 y2 and y3 so the final 
combined equation is nothing but y1 plus y2 plus y3. So here y is equal to c1 e of x plus c2 x e of x plus c3 x square e of x. So in this equation, we are having three arbitrary constants, that is c1, c1, c2, and c3. So we are having three arbitrary constants. So we need to differentiate this equation three times. So let's try to differentiate this equation with respect to x. So we will get here dy by dx. c is a constant, so I will get here e of x plus, now, I can write here c2, and if I differentiate x e of x, so I will get here x, if I differentiate e of x, I will get here e of x, plus if I differentiate x, I will get 1, and here e of x, plus c3, if I differentiate x squared, I will get here 2x e of x, plus, again, I will, uh, I will get here x squared and e of x. In other words, I can... And instead of writing here dy by dx, I can also simply write here y dash. So this dash stands for first order dif uh, differential. And I can write here c1 e of x plus c2 x e of x plus c2 e of x plus 2 x c3 e of x plus c3 x square e of x. So we are getting this term. Now, if we look carefully, and if we try to compare to one, so C1, here we are having C1 E of X. Here we are getting C1 E of X. Here we are getting C2 X E of X. C2 X E of X. And C3 X square E of X. Here we are getting C3 X E of X. So what happened is that these three terms, we can simply write as Y. So we will get here, y dash is equal to, instead of these three terms, I'm simply writing here y plus c2 e of x plus 2x c3 e of x. So we have already differentiated once. So we need to differentiate for the second time. So if we differentiate for the second time, so we have y prime is equal to y plus c2 e of x plus 2x c3 e of x. So we can write this equation as y dash, if I bring y on the other side, y is equal to c2 e of x plus 2x c3 e of x. Now we need to differentiate for the second time. So if I differentiate for the second time, I will get this one as y double prime minus y prime is equal to if i differentiate this one i will simply get c2 e of x plus 2 c3 is a constant if i differentiate x e of x i will get here x e of x plus here e of x so i will get here y double prime plus y prime is equal to c2 e of x plus 2 c3 x e of x plus 2 c3 e of x now if we try to compare this equation with uh, the previous, uh, with the above equation, y prime minus y, we have c2 ex, and here we have c2 ex, and we have 2x c3 ex, and even here we have 2x c3 ex. So in instead of this two term, we can simply write here y prime minus y. So we will write here y double prime minus y prime is equal to, instead of this two term, I'm writing this term, that is y prime minus y, plus 2c3 e of x. So I can further simplify y double prime minus y prime. If this term goes here, it will be minus y prime plus y is equal to 2c3 e of x. Or in other words, we can get a y double prime minus 2y prime plus y is equal to 2c3 e of x. But since uh, in this ordinary equation, we have uh, three arbitrary constants, we need to differentiate three times. So let us try to differentiate for the third time. So this term will get, uh, we will get here y double, triple prime minus 2y double prime plus y prime is equal to, if I differentiate this one, I will get here 2c3e of x.
Why? Because 2 and C3 is a constant. And if we differentiate e of x, we will simply get e of x. So what happens is this. We know that in the above equation, this one, this is nothing but 2C3 e of x. And here we are getting 2C3 e of x. So instead of 2C3 e of x, we can simply write this term. So we have y double prime minus 2y prime double prime plus y prime is equal to y double prime minus 2y prime plus y. So we can also write y 2y minus of y plus y plus 3y minus of y is equal to 0. Now here we can further simplify that here y triple prime minus 2y double prime minus uh, y double prime minus uh, plus of y prime sorry it should not be 3 it should be 2 here uh, 2y prime minus of y is equal to 0 so what happens is this we'll get here y triple prime minus uh, 3y double prime plus 3y prime minus of y is equal to 0 or we can write this one as d cube of y of dx cube minus 3 d square y of dx square plus 3 dy by d of x minus of y is equal to 0 so this is the required differential equation for a given ordinary equation so this is the required differential equation and now in order to find the order and degree in this differential equation we have three derivative here the order is three for this derivative the order is two and for the last derivative the order is one so we know that the order of this differential equation is three since three is the highest order derivative and the degree of this differential equation is since we have to find out the degree of the highest order so this is the highest order derivative the degree is one so here the degree of this differential equation is one so we can see that uh, for this ordinary equation we were having three arbitrary constraints c1 c2 and c3 and since we were having three arbitrary constraints the order of the differential equation is also three so which means the number of arbitrary equation uh, arbitrary constant and the order of the differential equation is always equal and this are the three assignment that i'm giving all of you to do it and try to submit it by day after tomorrow so you have to find the differential equations of the given ordinary equation and also to find the order and degree of the differential equation so I'm giving you three ordinary equation. So you have to find out the differential equation of the three ordinary equation as well as the order and the degree of the differential equation.